Hello, my name is Kevin Steller, and I'm a Principal Technical Lead with Esri Training Services. And I want to talk today about utilizing map topology in order to modify the geometry of the features that are in our data. So as we modify our features, we often have to maintain the spatial integrity of those features. So anywhere where the data is coincident, we want to maintain that coincidence. If our data is not coincident, we want to have easy ways that we can make those coincident. With the regular modification tools for editing vertices or reshaping, we can sometimes miss vertexes or miss places and we would, might still have gaps and slivers in our data. With map topology, and we can turn on map topology for any map that we work with, this will en enable us to use tools with modification to change those shared geometries. So to turn this on, we can go to the Edit tab, and where this says No Topology, we can hit the down arrow and turn on our map topology. Now, in our map, we see locations where our data, we've got a land and ocean boundary, and we can see that these are not coincident in places, and also that they do not line up with where they need to be. So we will use some of these tools to align these gaps and slivers, to get rid of these gaps and slivers, and to align these features uh, with using their shared geometry. So the first thing that we want to do is to align our data here with the shoreline. So what I want to do is go to Edit Vertices, and instead of using Features, we can go to edges. When we have topology enabled, we will see this option for edges. Where we see the purple, this is where geometry is shared, and we've got edges and nodes. So if we hover over one of these edges, these purple dots will turn a little bit bigger. We can select this, and notice that we have the land, land boundary and ocean boundary connected. And we've got this vertex, and we can move this vertex right where we need it, and it moves all of these features at the same time. Now to align these features, to get rid of some of these gaps, we can use the Align Edge tool. And for the Align Edge, this will allow us to hover over one of these edges, and this will turn into a solid yellow line. That's the edge that we will be moving, and it will be moving to the dashed yellow line. And all we have to do is click, and that edge will align. We can do the same thing here and here. Now we're in a position that we can reshape this entire shared geometry. We no longer have gaps and slivers, so we can go to reshape now. And for reshape, we'll again go to edges. We'll select this edge that we want to reshape. And just like our normal reshape tool, we start with an intersection and we can click around and reshape this feature so that it follows along the shoreline. And this can be, this will be a little bit loose, but this will be the way that we would be able to modify this feature. And when we finish, that entire shared edge is now aligned. And so we align both the land boundary and the ocean boundary at the same time. Because map topology can be turned on and off as you need it, and it can be for any map that you are working with, this is a great way to modify that shared geometry, to maintain coincidence, and maintain the spatial integrity of your data. I encourage you to practice around and find those situations where this will be a time saver for you when modifying your data.